Hello, it's Asher Ferguson here to give you a quick tutorial about how to write a post for the WordPress thesis theme and to add it to your blog. So here we are at galaxyninja.com. The first thing we have to do is go WP Admin to get into the, the back office of WordPress. Then add your username and password and log in. This will take you to the dashboard which is the, the behind the scenes administration of your blog. This enables you to add and edit posts, add pages or moderate your comments. So we want to add a post here on the left hand side you click add new. And the main elements that you need to be aware of is the title, the body, the SEO or search engine optimizing details, post tags, and categories. So here I've made a sample post. And so you want it to be enticing and that people will click while at the same time you should use keywords because this is the main thing that the Google um, search bot looks at. And then of course you add your content in here. If you wish to do some special formatting or changing the color of your text you can click on this little thing which is called the kitchen sink which adds in all these nice little extra features. The next thing is your SEO search engine optimizing details. The custom title tag is usually the same as your main title but will also be important if you abbreviate something you should expand it out here so that Google sees what that word actually is. The meta description is the thing that appears under the title in a Google search and should also be enticing and use keywords. Often it's possible just to take the first couple of sentences and that will be sufficient. The meta keywords are not so important but should be filled out and very brief description of the main topics in your blog post. So I've used social media, ninja, galaxy. Then adding a post tag is important because usually in a blog there's a widget that has all the tags of different blog posts. And so it's a way that you can navigate through the site very easily, but also it's good for SEO. And you should only choose one or two words that really encapsulate what that blog post is about because otherwise every link that's in that tag cloud will go to the same article and that's just not so fun for the user. And then you've got to choose which category your post goes in and that will mean that on your home page in the category tab that article will appear. And the very last thing is the URL. And so it's important not to put all those basic kind of words, just putting the main word. Ten ways become social media ninja. Okay. And then the final thing is to publish, and you're done. So in the next video, we'll show you how to add a picture and also embedding YouTube videos. Okay, thank you. Bye.